our communications team had put together some really nice ads and particularly some related to inviting people to Easter, really simple ads with picture of kids with bunny ears and that type of thing. And some of our ads began to be declined by Facebook with no explanation. And then Facebook started messaging us that there's a problem with our payments portion of our account and asked for some identifying information which we supplied uh, without any uh, problem or any feedback but then we were messaged by Facebook and told that we had violated their terms and conditions they cut off the ad account and then they told us there's nothing more they could do to help us and then they turned off our ability to reply uh, to the issue the very first step of this resolution process began with me picking up the phone and calling Hiram Sasser at First Liberty. The reason I think this, this issue mattered to, uh, to us at First Liberty is because it mattered to the church. Uh, the church uh, really depends upon these ads as part of their outreach program, and, uh, and a lot of churches do, and we wanted to make sure that we were able to, to protect that and their ability to uh, invite others to their Easter service. It was pretty amazing how quickly First Liberty responded to our issue. They jumped right on it and within a couple of hours had a game plan and then the next, that very evening, the Attorney General's office was engaged in the process towards a resolution that came the very next day. And the great thing is at Facebook they have good people who want to try to be helpful and, and, and resolve this issue and that's, that's what we were able to do. The very next morning, Facebook uh, reached out to us via telephone and we, we held on the call. We had Hiram Sasser with the First Liberty as well as our communications director and then Eva from Facebook. Uh, she, be, she was concerned about our issue and uh, began to take notes and after a short conversation she said she would be back with us uh, later that day uh, with an update. What's really uh, uh, beneficial I think in this particular circumstance is that we have an attorney general in Texas. Uh, who is very committed to religious liberty uh, and having the Attorney General on our side uh, and then also being able to engage with Facebook in, in, in an appropriate and friendly way and getting to work with some really good people there uh, to get this resolved uh, was a, a great plus not just for this church but for many churches all across the country. I was in an office and then our communications director walks in with a big smile on his face and this was 2.30 in the afternoon and he said, I said, what? And he said, well our Facebook ad account got reinstated. Well, I think if any, any church has an issue with Facebook or something of like that nature where they feel like uh, their, their ads or their posts are, are being taken, taken down uh, unnecessarily, uh, they need to give us a call at First Liberty or go to our website at firstliberty.org and, and uh, there might be something we can do about it.